Hey guys, welcome back to the channel in the Own the Map Challenge series here on Richlands, Ohio. So we are here in November, it's about 10.30 in the morning, and we just busted into this field. Uh, we are going to be fighting the rain here, and uh, that's kind of due to us being on one day seasons. It's kind of the struggle that you go through with one day seasons is you have more likelihood to have rain and snow and all those kind of things uh, more often so because you are only doing one day a month so it kind of makes sense right but yeah so we're busted in here uh, I'd like to get this done in this episode and I would also like to get uh, an excavator rented we got one picked out essentially that we uh, is available to rent and we will plan on doing that hopefully not sure if we'll get that done today in November but we most likely will get that done in December weather permitting so we get that uh, excavator rented and we'll get some uh, tree lines knocked down so yeah that's gonna be kind of the plan for this episode so not gonna really mess around talking too much. Uh, we'll just get right into the time lapse here, and uh, I'll see you guys after we get this field done. So we are hauling up our last load of soybeans here. It's only our second load um, because that's all we really had. So uh, in that field, 
you, soybeans don't yield uh, the most, so we were kind of doing it all solo, didn't have any help, and as you can see, we got Steve out here in the field. He has been running tillage for us. Um, one thing is, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this after the newest patch, but the plowed texture is a bit weird. I don't know if that was an intentional change by Giants or if that is a new issue that's come about, but yeah, it's not turning into the dark dirt soil that you were used to when we plow. I mean, it's still got like the road like textures type of thing, but it's like leaving like a residue type texture. I don't know. It's weird. I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, so. But I. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know uh, how to fix that or if it's just how it is now. Yeah, I'm not sure. So, but anyway, so we are uh, hauling these beans up. We had about thousand bushel of beans within the two uh, loads that we took. We took one that was about 77% full, and this one is about 84%. So I think. I believe that this this load here is about 540 bushel or something close to that so I would guess at 77% with the other one yeah, we're getting we're probably around a thousand bushel so that is what we got from that field we got we earned about 35,000 I believe from the first load so we'll see what we get from this load I'm expecting somewhere around 40,000, I would guess, if I had to. So, we are bringing the money in. So, I'm really looking forward to that. Obviously, we're going to have to spend some money to rent that excavator. But, I think it'll be worth it, and it'll be a fun little job for us to do. So, so we definitely had a nice learner there. Over $40,000 after our environmental score, so... We are up to $262,000, so that is really great. At this rate, I think the plan, I would think, at right now, as, I, as we speak, would be that we're going to probably end up buying Steve's property from him. So, we'll be purchasing his barns and his silos, or his uh, bins there, and all that good stuff his chicken uh, area so be able to expand a little bit there and have some more room for machinery as we all know it's getting a little tight around our yard so it'll be really nice to have three bins available we'll buy his his land which is about two hundred twenty thousand uh, that's what he is thinking he would sell it for so obviously Steve he'll still live there and all that good stuff, but we'll just be buying his his pretty much farm property area and his chicken operation from him. So yeah, that is uh, that's exciting. So and I think after we be able, after we sell our corn, which it looks like the max price is going to be about one hundred and fifty thousand, we sit down about four hundred thousand dollars that we can spend. So we'll probably pick up another piece of ground too on top of that, and we'll have some room to upgrade some equipment. I want to throw some GPS possibly on the combine and upgrade the bean head and possibly go to an eight row head for the combine as well. So those are kind of, that's kind of the plan going into the winter. Not sure how much we'll be recording over the winter time this year. It's pretty much just going to be business transactions that kind of stuff so yeah we will uh, get the equipment all parked up and put away and I will see you guys in December when we are clearing out some tree lines morning guys it's now December and I said I would see you when we were getting the excavator hauled in but figured uh, I'd keep you guys in the loop a little bit and take a few minutes to kind of show you what we're doing. So we are shutting the greenhouse down. It is winter time now, so we're not going to be growing anything for the next 
two or three months. So we just cleaned out the uh, storage shed there, and we have a few pallets of lettuce, some pallets of strawberries, and two pallets of honey. So we're going to be taking this down to the local farm shop and selling those off. Um, and then uh, I might need to load that other pallet of honey up quick. But then, uh, about around 10 o'clock, we should be expecting our uh, excavator in, so we'll have to pay for that rental. Uh, probably have to pay for a semi-truck and trailer as well for the uh, hauling purposes, because you can't really just drive an excavator around, so dang, I did not realize how bad of a job I did stacking these last few ones. Holy cow. So, but anyway, they'll stay on with the straps, so... Uh, we'll get these sold, and yeah, I'll see you guys around 10 o'clock when uh, hopefully the excavator arrives. So the uh, excavator guys uh, gave me a call and said they were near where we asked them to be, but uh, we they wanted us to meet us meet them down here to kind of show them where to go looks like they're having some issues getting through the field here we're just kind of directing them where we need to go oh there's a bale left back here interesting so luckily we haven't plowed this up or anything because that would be interesting to say the least if it was plowed oh man we didn't even pick up these bales either what in the world wow okay well we have some bale picking up to do before the snow hits so looks like they're uh, getting a bit tangled up back there so we'll uh, go give them a hand quick let's see how we can do getting this excavator off here shouldn't be too bad so I had to drive, drive her straight, so. Yeah, I'm excited to get into this job. This is one I've been looking forward to for a bit now, so. Thinking that we're probably just going to clear out most of this. Pretty much all of this. And then we'll take a, uh. Um. What am I trying to say? A plow, uh, into. To it after we're done, uh clearing the tree line. Wow, I was really struggling for words there. So, yeah, this is a big old Volvo excavator. Uh, and the... It's got a claw here. We pretty much can just push these trees down. So it's a big old machine. I'm going to do that. And then we'll probably pile them up and we'll probably just have ourselves a little early winter bonfire and set them on fire. I don't think that we're going to try and cut them up or anything. We don't really need the wood... So, I mean, we could sell them uh, to one of those local guys that does run the, uh, has let himself a little sawmill down there, so. But, yeah, I think uh, we'll just hop into this quick. I'll probably just do and do a time lapse uh, of this, and yeah, we'll get her done. So this is definitely probably pretty painful to watch, but <laughs> we're figuring it out. We're, <laughs> we're getting there. I, I set my controls up on my joystick, like, right before doing this. 
So that's kind of I'm 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 going into this with no practice. No familiarity with the controls whatsoever. <laughs> One of those kind of things. So it's kind of fun. I feel like it's actually easier to do in cab, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe. It's still just kinda oh my gosh. I feel like I need to remap my controls. Definitely. We'll go out of cab here. My steering wheel to like turn the tracks is a little bit sensitive still as well. Like that. Like the slightest movement and it it does that. But so with this claw here by BC Bueller, you have to turn it on to do the like function to where it pushes the tree down type of thing. And it makes me wonder if I didn't do to get the right uh excavator like with the attachment deal you know what I mean because we got a oh gosh I might extend the oh, right there because we have to like tip it so far because I th almost feel like the teeth is where it like registers to knock the tree down see we're getting a few and it might just be that it takes a second as well and I'm just being impatient. Wow. Oh boy. That's a big old, big old strong tree. We're getting a few pieces taken off. There we go. There we go. Now she's working. So now, I wonder if we lower it, if we can just kind of knock it down. Yeah, see, there we go. Now we're making some progress. It's just a big old tree, it takes a second, right? But yeah, I'm curious if uh, we would have had ourselves a different excavator, if that's kind of what we could have. Would have made a difference. Definitely we'll be looking into that, because this was something I want to do in other series first, but I, or as well, but I wanted to do it in this series first. I don't know why, but I did, so... If we can get on that from the other side, there we go. See, don't worry, we will we will hop into the time lapse once again. I just kind of, <laughs> uh, I just kind of wanted to go through this with you guys as well. The, the pains. Oh, stop moving like that. There we go. Okay. Gosh, the wheel is so sensitive with this thing. Alright, we gotta back you up. Back you up. And then we gotta lower. If I talk myself through it, it kinda works a little bit better. Okay. So. There we go. We got the stump out. So then we can turn the claw, like, dealio off. Wait. Okay. <coughs> so once it's all knocked down. Yeah, it definitely needs to be remapped. Definitely sensitivities need to be <laughs> changed. Oh no. Stop moving. Okay. Let's see if we can just grab this. Can we grab a branch? Just grab a branch. Oh my goodness gracious. 
This is why I don't log. I would love to log, but I just don't have the patience to do logging. I mean, it looks fun, but holy crap. If this is my experience, well, I, uh, yeah, I have these buttons, or the controls mapped like a ding dong, I feel like. So. Okay, this thing needs a. <laughs> it's okay. Make fun of me all you want. This is literally like my second time trying to do logging ever. My first time, well not ever, in 22. My first time with this new joystick. Okay, do we get it? Okay, now we lift it. Uh -huh. Okay, so then we're just going to move it over here. Extend. Look at this, we're getting a hold of it. Okay, and then hat switch to the right to drop it. Swing it back. Come on over, pull the trigger, lower it down. Oh. That switch this way. Down. Okay, like this, close it, lift it, swing out, look at that, okay, <laughs> just know that once we actually turn this into a time lapse again, I will be doing that the whole time, just talking to myself, just talking my way through it, you know, you gotta do it somehow, right, okay, so we'll, uh, these little ones I feel like I can probably just grab by hand. Okay, so we will uh, hop back into the time lapse quick. I think we're to the point where I don't believe we need to knock down any more trees. We might do this little one here and right here. It's like kind of halfway up through the ground, but one other thing that I just kind of figured out was that you can, when you turn on this function, you can also clear out bushes. So that's pretty cool. So let's see. So if we drop it down. You just kind of dig like that. You just <laughs> in our case, because we're just <laughs> uh, the worst at this, we just <laughs> swipe it sideways and see how that does. But yeah, so uh, yeah, this little thing right here is going to be the last one that we do. It's 
bring it back towards us, drop it down, kind of pull it, scrape it back like that, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's kind of cool that you can just kind of dig with it and it kind of clears the ground for you. So we'll keep uh, doing that. We'll probably clear out these bushes just to make it a little bit easier to see. Can we dig up the grass with it too? Is that kind of a feature? Oh yeah, it does kind of take out the grass. Huh. That's neat. That's a cool extra little added thing that BC Bueller added there. Is this a stump? A little mini stump here? Yeah, it was. Drag it. There we go. Lift it up. Just do that, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is so funny. This is rough. Rough times. If I was like good at it, you could like drag it and then do that at the same time and make it like a nice fluid motion type of thing, huh? But instead... <laughs> There's just way too much going on with this. Anyway, that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Can we grab this? Is it gonna... Oh, stop moving, stop moving. That is going to be it. Oh my gosh. I can't like stop moving my wheel. It's just like a habit. That'll be it for the video. <laughs> I'm actually going to end it now. Oh wait. We got to grab the uh, fire cans out of the... The jerry cans out of the truck quick. And then we're going to set some fires quick. So we got our jerry cans here. How do you do these? Do you, you have to enter it? Put it right here. Let's see, open the menu up quick. You enter it? Yeah, you enter it and then you start the engine. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, back up, back up. Oh, we're going in the wrong way. It's kind of going. We're getting like the blurry smoky effect. I'm not seeing any fires. Maybe it'll just go eventually. We'll try it over here with this second one. Got two piles. Okay, so enter, turn on fire. Turn on fire. So we had to turn the fire on with B. It's kind of doing it with that one. Now, can we get back into this one? Enter vehicle. Turn on fire. Jeez. Oh, yeah, that one did the job. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Except there's no fire. <laughs> I didn't actually see a fire. Anyway, so that's kind of how that all works. Pretty cool little pack by BC Bueller. Very innovative to say the least, so that's it. That's actually going to be it this time. We'll kind of clear this up a little bit. We'll toss these extra little pieces into these fires, and we'll get that cleared up. So uh, I will see you guys in the spring, most likely, uh, unless we decide to record us uh, selling our corn, but we're not sure yet. So as of right now, I'll see you in the spring. Thanks for watching.